I want to talk about an application that you're all familiar with, even if you don't use Microsoft 365, and has largely remained unchanged for decades. I'm talking about Microsoft Outlook. Outlook has been around for as long as many people can remember. Um, if you've only been in the tech industry or even working in businesses, uh, in business for the last few years, then Outlook's always been there. Outlook's just part of the furniture. It's just something that we've all got used to. But it's about to be transformed. It is undergoing a change and a new version of the application is coming out. Chances are, if you're using Outlook right now, there's a button up there that allows you to go and preview the new version of Outlook. Now, you might have tried that already, and you might have gone, ooh, I don't like this, and you've switched back pretty quickly. That's actually been quite a consistent experience for most of my clients. However, I've been persisting and have been using the new version of Outlook for many months now. And the thing is, is that when I first started using it, I didn't really like it much either. It feels like the web um, version. It's kind of like, why would I need a new desktop app? Why can't I just use the web version? Is everything going towards a web browser based app? The answer is kind of yes. However, there's new capabilities and features being built into the system all the time. There's still a few things I don't like about the new Outlook that I miss from the old one, but it's not enough to force me to switch back. And I'm just going to show you a couple of little things. So one of the things here is, is that we've got the same familiar layout. Everything else is still here. I do like this sidebar here in terms of the calendar and to do that's at my fingertips so I can see all the tasks and stuff that I need to do without really having to go anywhere else. So quite often I'll be uh, working throughout the day and I'll just go and start adding a new task, right? I can just add them quickly as I think of them. It's right here at my fingertips. So Outlook's always open. It's likely on your desktop as well. It's always open. Same thing with Teams, but slightly different. So Outlook's not going anywhere, but it is undergoing a, an evolution. And it does need to, because the old code base, the old system, is decades old. And there's only so much more that Microsoft can do to change it and to add new functionality. Speaking of new functionality, one thing that you'll find in the new Outlook and not in the classic is Copilot. Right? Copilot allows me to do things just putting a forward slash there and I can draft with Copilot. So I'm going to say write an email with at least five new features describing why the new Outlook is great. Include a link to the product page. Great. Now I could go and work out how to write this and I could spend the time writing it, but I'm just going to get Copilot to actually, um, I'm going to say expand with additional new features. So Copilot's going to go off, it's going to write these particular things. Right. So here's a little email that's written for me. It's sort of, you know, thrilled to announce the launch of the new Outlook, ultimate email you've been waiting for, blah, blah, blah. Cool, right? I could go and reword that. But the point being is, is that Copilot's right here and it's written the darn thing for me. I don't need to worry about it and I can just go off and send that to my um, team. All right, so it just goes and creates this particular content. Now, you'll notice that my email signature's kind of been broken and I'm not sure why that's happening. It's it's another little quirk and issue I need to go and sort, solve. Um, you'll see that there's a feedback um, thing. So Microsoft's still collecting feedback. They want to hear from you what you like and what you don't like. So make sure you provide that information. The other thing I like about the, um, the new Outlook is um, the fact that everything's now integrated. 
I've got my calendar, obviously. I've got um, people, which is your contact list. I've got groups as well, which allows me to see all the different team sites and everything else that I've got in there and allows me to go quickly and easily to add new members, even if they're externally um, to my organization. So I can invite guests in and they can log in if they have a Microsoft account or use a one-time code if they don't. You might have seen that when you're sharing individual content, but if you try to add a member to a new team or to a um, to a SharePoint site, it's not as intuitive. You can't just put in their um, email address. It becomes a little bit more difficult. This is how you do it from Outlook. Um, I've got, I talked about to do, that's now integrated within uh, the platform. This is actually being transformed into, into to do and planner are now being merged into one mega application, um, which is all about task management. And that is a fantastic thing. I cannot wait to see what they've created. And there's been a lot of work around that particular space. But if you use tasks on a regular basis, pro tip, you should. And if you're not, Start doing it today so you can actually manage stuff to do and remember what you need to do. Again, I've got my sidebar here and I can just quickly add a task as it comes to mind. Um, I've also got um, OneDrive in here so I can access all those files. Maybe there was a meeting I did recently where someone shared some um, messages and I can quickly go and see those, those videos or those um, files that were shared with me um, going back in time. So I can quickly go and find this information. Speaking of finding stuff, search actually works properly. The classic outlook sometimes works, sometimes doesn't, depending on the amount of content it can see. And guess what? It will only be able to see what you've cached locally. By default, that's 12 months worth of data, unless you go and make some changes to go and expand. This will see everything. Why? Because it's online only for the moment. There's no offline mode available. That's coming, but that's you know, not there yet. The other thing is there's a bunch of other apps and one that I recommend you go and explore today is bookings. This is where you can create your own booking calendar. Send a link, someone can book straight into your calendar and it sets up a team meeting automatically and you can set up an email sequence, etc., to remind them that they're coming and thank them for showing up, right? So there's lots of different capabilities. That is evolving daily, almost. So there's a lot of capability right here in your fingertips. The last thing I want to touch on is sweep. Let's say you've got a particular email and you go, yeah, I'm really sick of seeing that. Oh, by the way, whilst I'm here, you'll notice there's no images. Yes, you can click on show images, but currently there's no way of actually saying always show images. It doesn't exist. That feature is not enabled yet. I believe it's been worked on, but it's not in there. It's kind of a security thing, but it is kind of annoying. I'd prefer it to just show it for me. But if I can go sweep, what this is going to do, anything from this particular email, I'm just going to move it straight into the deleted items. I don't care. Anytime I see that particular email throughout my inbox, I want it to be deleted. You can also set up certain rules to only leave the last one, delete the rest, or move it to a specific folder. And you think, well, doesn't that compete with rules? Yeah, it does but it's much simpler in that it's only triggered based on the sender's email address. Sometimes that's good, sometimes that's bad. Rules allows other conditions and other things to happen, right? So it's not completely the same, but it's quick. Sweep allows you to go and clear out all that clutter inside of your mailbox very, very quickly. I've done this many, many times where I've got rid of thousands of junk emails and just remove them out of my mailbox and it only takes an hour that's it sometimes less to actually complete that process so if you're trying to get to inbox zero sweeps your friend go and explore it today i know that was a whirlwind there was a lot of stuff coming um it is the new outlook people are going to love it most people are going to hate it because it's different but do give yourself a little bit of time go and learn it Go and start using it. Give yourself at least a week, maybe two weeks to get used to it before you decide, I like it or I hate it. There's going to be things that are missing. That's a given. It is still evolving. But eventually, you're not going to have a choice because that's how Microsoft is rolling these days. You signed up to Microsoft 365, 
and that means that you are always going to get greenfield and a new systems rolled out regularly. You don't have to worry about it. It is going to be updated for you and you'll always be on the latest versions. That's how it works. So the new Outlook is coming. If you love Copilot, it's the only place you're going to experience it inside of your mailbox. So start getting used to that idea. You... Change is inevitable. It's part of life. But I actually really like where Microsoft is going with this. There's a few gaps, but ultimately, I think we're all just going to get used to it or just deal with it anyway. Thanks for watching and see you again uh, soon.